everyone welcome to beauty in the garden i'm t in today's video we are going to do a tour of the back garden so let's head to the back garden so here is the corn you guys here's the corn so this is the corn that i planted in the video i hope you did get a chance to go ahead and plant your corn but our corn is doing really good now I will be spraying my corn with BT because I have an issue every year. It never fails. I have issues with silkworms and they always end up in my corn and eating at my corn. So this year I definitely will be spraying my corn ears this year and to prevent them getting into my corn. But wow, look how big. Can you see? Look how big the corn has got. It's really healthy. It's nice and green. Now with corn, corn is like grass, so you want to feed it a great deal of nitrogen at the first phases. And once that phase is gone, um, you want to slow down on the nitrogen so that you can get some nice ears. So as we go ahead into the back garden. Now I have this pot down here. I went ahead and filled it up with soil. I do need a little bit more soil. Guys, soil is so expensive. But um, I am going to fill this pot up completely, maybe an inch and a half away from the rim to create a water line in this pot. And so I can plant my fig tree right into this container. First thing first. So here is the raised bed. My raised beds are pretty small. My raised beds are maybe a foot and a half wide back here. The ones in the front are just about a foot. Back here is about a foot and a half. Now, right here is my banana melon. It's a little wilted, a little down. That's okay. Uh, they will bounce back. I just um, spaced them out. So th they will bounce back very soon. But this is the banana melons. Now, I did pop in some tiger melons and a yellow watermelon right there, right by that post. And they're doing really good. Now, I have started to string up some of them. I'm glad that they're actually starting to put on some growth. Believe it or not, they were not putting on any growth for a great deal of time. And I think what's happened was I hesitated with planting up my watermelons and my cantaloupe because we ended up having a late cold snap and it would have damaged the plants very bad. So I planted them up directly, but uh, all in all, they're doing okay right along the border of this raised bed i popped in some more onions now they might not put on any type of bulbs but if they do great if they don't we can always harvest them for tops so i did take out a couple of the leeks and just left these two right here now over here is the peppers so all of these peppers i planted up in a video and the peppers which are doing really good and I need to go ahead and tie all of my peppers. Now, the banana peppers, I went ahead and tied them already, but I need to tie all the rest. And I'll show you as we go along. Um, it's a stink bug. It's a stink bug. Oh, new plant. Oh, new. <laughs> but as we go, so as we go along in this video, I will show you the ones I haven't tied yet, but I will be tying those today because I will be watering these pots. Now, I haven't watered my pots in about four days, and they're really doing really good, which you see here. We did have a rain probably about three or four days ago, so I didn't water, but I will be watering them today. And to me, they're doing really well. Now, I have slug and snail issues, and this is because it is up against this uh, storage unit here our shed and they actually the slugs and snail climbs up this uh, this metal uh, and they really like the moisture but I will be going ahead and getting some type of uh, bait for them they do have some organic baits out there that I've used um, in the past but I haven't bought any maybe in about four or five years so I will go ahead and get some because I do have my peppers up and down this this wall here but here's the banana peppers and then right here we have the poblanos peppers here I've seen a great deal of flowers so we'll be getting poblano peppers soon as well so as we go ahead and stroll along here um, 
we have here down here is the green bell peppers here in the containers right here oh, right here is the cayenne longs that i need to go and tie which you see here is flopping down here but this is the cayenne longs and then as we stroll along we have the cuban nails right here and they started off so small so they're finally starting to put on some growth but here's the cuban nails we have a green bell peppers red bell peppers and as well some yellow bell peppers over here is the better bush tomato right here and i did have a tomato hornworm now if you do not like caterpillars and you can't pluck them off um, i do recommend that you go ahead and purchase bt now i do have that in my description box and i do have videos on how i mix the bt and how often i use the bt caterpillars so i do recommend using bt hey mommy mm. you know the hungry no they don't need to eat my stuff <laughs> All right, let's go back this way. This way to show you what is in the bed. Okay, so down here, I planted here. This is the purple beauty bell peppers here and here. And I planted up some beans in the video and I went ahead and popped them in the back garden. So the beans that's right here are actually the top crop beans right here is a orange watermelon and a tiger melon and all throughout here is my sugar baby watermelons now i will be tying those very soon i did tie a couple that actually reached up to so i can tie them but i'm finally getting some growth with the uh sugar baby watermelon okay so what you see here i can finally string these what you see I can tie these because it's actually finally put on enough growth that I can string them. So you see here. And uh, here is all of the beans. Now I did pop in some red onions along the bed here, up and down here. And uh, hopefully we'll see what happens. If they do not put on any type of bulbs, that is fine. Utilize your green tops for any type of dish, your rice, your your omelets, things like that, that you can go ahead and uh, use uh, in some of your dishes. Y'all see my child? <laughs> well, what Hi. Did... Hello. <laughs> Say hello, everybody. Hello, buddy. So she's ready to get in the pool, but let's go ahead and finish up and show you guys what's going on in the garden. So as we go this way here, I'm so happy about the cantaloupe. The cantaloupe. I went and tie ahead and tie them and look how big they have gotten they can actually um they actually put on a great deal of growth because i think they are reaching to the sun which you guys can see here can you see how the sun here the line in the back so it's reaching for that sun so they're really starting to do really good as well the peppers down here these are the mini bells and they have put on a great deal of growth right here and then right down here some um some beans so let's finish up and let's show you else what's going on in the back garden so in the containers i had here the elephant garlic and i popped in some sweet potatoes and they have done very well and i did show you how you can go ahead and get your sweet potatoes started so we're gonna go this way and see here here is all of our potatoes I will be filling these beds up completely once this is done, but the potatoes are starting to dull out. They're starting to change color. So the time is coming very soon to go ahead and harvest our potatoes. Down here, I planted the purple royal beans. These, so the winter squash is doing okay, you guys. When I mean okay, I mean, okay, it's not doing great. It's doing okay. Um, let me show you what is going on. Watch out, buggy. So right here, can you see that? So here, right at the beginning of my winter squash is a vine borer. Now I will be doing surgery on this plant and I hope that it will be able to withstand what I'm going to do to it. 
and uh, we're going to see because I already do have some fruit on here but you guys I don't know I'm going to try and see if I can salvage um, my plant but the vine borers have really ran amok this year and there's so many different methods down to wrapping them with aluminum foil and all of that but once they get into the vine itself to be honest with you wrapping it with aluminum foil at the bottom you have other bugs too that likes this plant and it comes with the territory you win some you lose some but all in all just keep trying no matter what okay so right here i planted up the volunteers they're doing okay as well and then in the front here is the contender beans so here is the uh purple majesties right here and they're dying back now and it's so it's almost time to go ahead and harvest them completely and uh, i will let you guys i will make sure i'll film the harvest of them and i hope they did well you never know honestly what you get until you harvest but never ever be um disappointed okay in any of your harvests whatever it is be proud of your harvest because there's something that you took yourself out of the elements to to go ahead and do I, I you know sometimes we don't get what we want but all in all guess what it is yours you did it nobody else did it you did it and you should be happy and proud of that it, sometimes I even have some major fails and I'm just like, well, I got a harvest. I can cook one or two meals. That's good. I didn't get a whole lot where I have maybe six or eight or 10, but just enough. If it's just one or two meals, I'm happy with that. Or even if it's just a taste, you guys, I'm proud of that because guess why? It is yours. You did it. You achieved it and you love it. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoy the content. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And remember, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, you guys. Have a blessed day.